Good Wednesday, everyone. Looking at our daily weather map for today, it's an active one. We have strong to severe thunderstorms across the Gulf Coast. Those will thankfully stay well south of Tennessee. We are in the red shading, though, for the risk of flash flooding, so we will be mindful of that. Some of these heavier downpours could lead to some localized flooding, especially on roadways, and especially in the low-lying areas that typically flood. Farther to the north, you see freezing rain, sleet, and snow stretching from portions of West Virginia all the way back into Minnesota and then back toward Montana. There's heavy snowfall, so a big winter storm component to this system, but we also have to be mindful of that severe weather that's along the Gulf Coast today. Checking out our five-day forecast today, rain, rain and wind. We have some gusty winds out there, 20, 25 miles per hour at times. Tonight, the rain tapers off, probably tapers off before midnight, lows around 40. And then Thursday through Sunday are looking good, just chilly. We're going to be feeling that cooler air. We've gotten kind of used to the milder air for a while, but now we're going to start taking a plunge. And over those overnight lows in the low 20s toward Saturday and Sunday are going to really feel chilly. So get those toboggans ready, that is for sure. And so we'll keep an eye on things. And uh, it looks like it's going to be dry right now through Sunday and just chilly. <clears throat> This is the uh, extended hazardous um, temperature outlook, and uh, I noticed this this morning where for December 21st through the 25th, so, so this would be next week, the Weather Prediction Center has us in a high risk for much below normal temperatures. And keep in mind, normal highs this time of year are around 48, normal lows around 30-ish. So uh, much below normal temperatures would be some quite chilly air. So we'll be looking for a cold Christmas week. And then we'll be on the lookout for any kind of disturbance or whatnot that may try to pass through while we are in these chillier temperatures. There have been some indications that we might have to deal with some light wintry precipitation sometime around Monday and Tuesday, and then again sometime around the 23rd. So models haven't done a really good job of picking up on just anything clear just yet. But I'll keep an eye on that, and I'll uh, let you know if anything comes up. On this day in 1924, the temperature at Helena, Montana, plunged, seven, plunged 79 degrees in only 24 hours. For a total of 88 degrees in 34 hours, can you imagine the temperature plunging that much? It went from 63 degrees above zero to 25 below zero. So that is a, you, you thought we had wild weather. In 2000, <clears throat> 2000, I'm getting choked up just talking about that. 2016, University of Toronto scientists present findings of the world's oldest water. They claim they found two billion year old water in a mine in Canada. And I can't help but wonder what it could have tasted like. I don't know why. But anyway, well, you folks have a wonderful Wednesday and keep looking up. For even more weather information, just keep reading along that blog, meteorologistmark.com.